Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. If you like these types of videos, please consider supporting us by hitting the like button and clicking subscribe below. We post videos daily to help encourage you on your walk with Jesus. Now, on to today's thought. Today's thought. Wait in prayer. Call on God and spread the case before Him. Express your unstaggering confidence in Him. Wait in faith, for unfaithful, untrusting waiting is but an insult to the Lord. Wait in quiet patience, not murmuring because you are under the affliction, but blessing God for it. C.H. Spurgeon Psalm 35, a Psalm of David. Plead my case, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chafe before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unwares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself, into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him, yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to change things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers and feasts they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling, from the lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me, neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eye has seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord, keep not silence, O Lord, be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together, that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and thy praise all the day long. Some say David penned this psalm while being persecuted by King Saul. Whatever the situation, many of us have been in a similar position when we desire those that are making our lives miserable to be dealt with by God. I would never pray, nor would the Lord honor such a prayer, I am sure, for the Lord to kill a person that is responsible for causing grief or harm. 
death of an unsafe person would be a terrible thing. They would end up in hell with no escape. Although they may have done me or someone close to me harm, I would not want them dead, but I would want God to deal with any wickedness, as the King David did in this psalm. David begged God to be on David's side, protect David, defend David with whatever it takes to repel the enemy, and confuse the enemy in their attacks. There have been evil forces constantly at work all through history. Bad and godless behavior has often tried to replace what is right. Many times those that were wrong could not physically fight back as David found himself. However, there is one means to defeat any wrongdoing, and that is by summoning the Lord to do His will and way in the matter. Have you found yourself in a similar situation where you were handicapped to change the situation? I'd love to know in the comments below. Does it seem that wrong is triumphing over what is right? Do as so many righteous people have done over the centuries. Summon God's intervention and sit back and wait to see what He will do. Heavenly Father, I praise and thank you that you are in control of this world and will one day be moved to bring in your rule of righteousness and vindicate those that have been unjustly accused or abused. Thank you, Father, that you are the one who places men in power and brings down rulers in order to forward your perfect plan of salvation for the redemption of the world. Thank you for men like David who have gone before us but have set an example entrusting you to rescue their soul from the ravages of this world system. I pray that no matter what I face in the days ahead, I will trust you in all things and bring glory to your holy name. Amen. <laughs>